Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host with the most show boy, VX Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great show. Today is going to be a Majestic Prince Episode 18 Defensive Battle Comp was that Compilation Academy Second Part. Um, this was a great, great show. Um, it started off with a huge bang. Uh, everybody is still in the fight. They're still getting on uh, this wall goo or however you want to say it, climb. And this guy, this little tyke is causing them a lot of trouble. So we just know that goal number five has just missed the first shot. Uh, being too excited, not focused, not doing what he needs to do. So he ends up missing the pop of uh, the opportunity to, to kill this guy the first time. So they have to go take it to the next level, I guess you could say, of ha having to defeat this person at this point in time. So, you know, at this point, it takes 15 minutes to, to charge this, like, Gatling gun. Uh, but they're like, we don't have 15 minutes. Uh, Uzuru is, you know, red number five is basically... You know, losing the battle, so he's 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 keeping up with Klein, but he's losing. So he ha he has to just continuously, you know, keep trying to outmaneuver him, stalling, whatever the case may be. Um, Tamaki, or whatever, is unable to control her her um, her fucking you know battle bot or whatever. And the other guy, he's taking care of business, defending off the little minions that are coming after. Him. So they come up with devices plan to send energy to purple six or whatever and they're just beaming it into her and she's beaming it into goal number five and is helping it charge it faster so this time he calms down he focuses and he raises his harmonic levels to another degree and when they were supposed to shoot him tamaki has to kind of she's basically going to ram the damn thing climb and then she's going to disperse jump out eject and that's going to be his shot, his moment of glory. So, obviously, he's going to get it the second time around. They didn't want to just have him do it the first time around. So, this has helped him reach the next level that he needs to reach. But what I didn't like is it took all of that just to win. Now, we know Klein is not the best for Mwagru or whatever the case. And the enemy is a lot stronger than this guy, Klein. And if it took all of that just to beat Klein, they got to problem. I mean, how do they expect to beat these other commanders, these other generals, and they have to they, they damn near destroy their, uh, their, their box, their units, just to get this one guy out of it. So, you know, kind of they did everything they needed to do to protect the academy. They did that and I'm pretty sure that's going to give Earth a lot of morale, but they understand that they need more bots. So the general of the 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 army, or whatever of uh, the MJPs or whatever, uh, is talking to one of his, I guess, commanders, and she's like, "We need more units. We need to get them out there. These things are the only things that are helping us, and these five can't always do it at this point in time. So you know, I think they're going to put it in order. We're going to probably see more to come." Um, how much more? I don't know. Obviously, these are the main five characters, but they need more, they need more of an army than what they have. The battle kind of switched over into the space where they were, you know, holding the front lines off. Uh, and then, you st of course, you still got Black Six doing her thing, uh, or Angie, whatever you want to call her. Um, the girl, she's doing her thing. She was holding a lot of people off, but she's still kind of cuckoo when she's fighting uh, on the battlefield. So she's got problems. Uh, if they just start pumping them out, they're probably going to make them more like her and just kind of just have them wildly just killing people because... Um, She's really more easily controlled than everybody else, and she's willing to risk her life more than anybody else at this point in time, uh, without thinking, obviously. Uh, so when they get back to the Walgore planet or whatever, um, you know, Jerriet and that guy who's kind of the prince's little, I don't know, I guess you're saying his little minion, uh, he's you know doing all his dirty work. He got a message to Teoria uh, on Earth to basically say, hey, why don't you contact us? We know you're down there. Um, and so, but they don't know that it actually got through yet, and she has to make a decision whether she's going to respond or not. But one of the other commander generals, Rad, overheard this whole plot—not necessarily a plot, because I don't think it's a, 
a uh, bad thing. I don't know what we what he has planned. Jerry Adder has planned at this point. But Rat overheard everything that was going on, and they took this asshole down. As soon as they got the chance, they said he was a traitor. Uh, we got to take him down, and boom, he killed him. So they are not playing around with this shit right now. They are taking this shit extremely seriously. But that kind of wraps up everything in a nutshell. What's going to happen? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We just know that these other guys, these other commanders, obviously have a lot more strength than Klein. And what does that mean? They got a lot more strength. How is these guys going to defeat them? Now, one of the main things these um, warrior people notice is that they help each other. They sacrifice their lives to assist each other. Uh, and that makes them more interesting. That makes them they think maybe smarter than the average bear kind of say. Maybe these creatures are more intelligent than we think because they're able to understand that each other's need to help each other. But they also understand that primitive need to only help each other if it benefits one nation or the other. So we're going to see if this plays a part. Are they going to try to put one nation against each other? Are they going to try to make alliances uh, just to trick one nation over the other nation? Uh, this is just my thoughts. These are just my opinions. I don't know if that's really going to happen, but we got to see how it turns out. As always, do your thing below. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And uh, 